Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Marriott College Esports. So tonight, our Overwatch team has returned, and they will be playing in their next match in the NACE Challenger Series. Uh, tonight, they'll be going up against University of California Davis. Uh, that should be started up in a few minutes. We're getting a couple things uh, set up in the lobby here. Having a couple technical difficulties with the uh, the checking process, so we're working with an admin to, to get that up and running. But hopefully we will have our Overwatch match up and running very soon. So while I'm working with the, the admin to make sure that we're properly checked in, let's take a look at who will be playing for tonight. And we do have a couple of shakeups uh, in the roster here. So at Tank, we have our newest member of the esports program. We will have freshman Ryan Boggs, Kinku Dinku, uh, playing as Tank. Also at Tank will be freshman Jasmine Smith, Extra Explorer. She's been playing a little bit of everything. Uh, at DPS, we will have some of our Rainbow Six players uh, on there. So we're going to have junior Dylan Poles Res and sophomore Aaron Crumb, the Spoon Goon, on there. And then at support, uh, we're going to actually have freshman Stacey Swartz Gearwolf on there, as well as freshman Kent Grub Meaver. I really need to get the, uh, the positions here updated. All right, I got something from the admin real quick, so make sure everything here is good. Okay, and looks like we are good on our end. All right, yeah, just double check the admin. They we got ourselves checked in, so we are good to go. Uh, we're just waiting for an invite uh, to the lobby, so we should be getting things underway. So while we are waiting for all that, let's go over a couple of announcements. So first and foremost, we are always looking uh, for people for our esports program, whether you're a current married college student or whether you're a high school senior. We have a, a variety of uh, games for you, whether it's Fortnite or Hearthstone or League of Legends or Overwatch or Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, or Valorant. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, if there are uh, other titles that our students are interested in and there is a collegiate esports presence, we can definitely consider that. I know there's been questions about uh, possibly Call of Duty or even Madden or FIFA, and those are possibilities down the road. Uh, so if you are a Marriott College student, please send me an email, so that way I can, um, that way I can talk to you about our program. And I think we're about to get invited to the lobby very soon here. Uh, if you are a high school senior, please fill out our recruitment form at bit.ly/mcrecruit, and we'd be more than happy to talk to you about our program and see if you would like to uh, possibly try out for a possible scholarship. So speaking of tryouts for scholarships, did I tell you that we do give scholarships to be on our esports team? Um, but by the way, so yeah, as I say, we do give out scholarships. I'm still double checking the uh, the lobby here, uh, but. Uh, we do have our next tryout date on Saturday, November 13th. That's just a few weeks away. This is in conjunction with our next open house event. So if you are visiting Marietta College for the uh, open house, then you can definitely come by and our, to our esports facility and try out for a scholarship. Uh, so it's a three-step process. Um, go to bit.ly slash mcrecruit. Once again, the QR code is on your screen. So take a screenshot, take a photo with your camera, whatever you got to do to make sure you get this image. We also have on our social media uh, channels as well, but you can also so fill out that information so we know they're interested. Fill out uh, the application to apply for Marietta College. So you can go to marietta.edu slash apply. But the most important form is our tryout scholarship form, which is at bit.ly slash mcesport tryouts. You do not necessarily have to apply ahead of time to try for the scholarship, but you do need to apply and be accepted for admission before I can tell admissions to give you the, the scholarship. I can say, hey, I want to give you the scholarship, uh, but kind of need you to fill out the application uh, and apply. And I am in the lobby, so let me invite uh, everyone here. But okay. Let me see here. I'm just getting the uh, the team here set up. Let's see here. Okay. Just getting the lobby here set up, guys. So appreciate everyone's uh, patience. 
Uh, while we're gonna go over another announcement, I mean, we thank you all for your support. I'm seeing some follows uh, coming in, so thank you, uh, everyone who is following. Uh, if you would like to support our program, I mean, we do accept donations or Twitch subscriptions. In fact, if you have Amazon Prime, there is a thing called Prime Gaming that you can get for free. All you have to do is connect your, create a free Twitch account, connect it to your Amazon Prime account, and then you get Prime Gaming, which gives you all sorts of in-game perks for a variety of games, but it also gives you a free sub that you can give to any Twitch channel per month. Uh, so you can give it to us, you can give it to another channel, but it does not automatically renew, so you will need to manually do that. All right, so just getting a couple things here uh, set up. All right, making sure everyone is in. All right, yeah, we're just getting, yeah. Yeah, we're checking things like game codes, getting everyone invited. All right. But yeah, as I mentioned before, you can give a, uh, a free sub if you have Prime Gaming, and that gives you all sorts of perks, whether it is uh, instant access to our VODs immediately after the broadcast, uh, gives you access to our custom Marietta College emotes so you can cheer on the pioneers, uh, or express a variety of emotions. This is courtesy of our communication and brand management department. So kudos to them for being able to create these custom emotes. And some of them may look kind of like some very common uh, Twitch emotes out there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all your support has been greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, we do also upload our matches onto our YouTube channel, bit.ly slash Esports, so you can check it out. You just have to wait a little bit longer to watch the broadcasts. So if you're impatient like I am, you you probably want to just go ahead and throw out that Twitch Prime sub or just a normal Twitch sub so that way you can see the, the VODs right away. Uh, but yeah, while we're waiting for again a couple things here set up, we're, we're trying to still get everyone uh, added on both sides and getting all the, the spectators in. Uh, looks, this is going to be a best of five match and it looks like the first map will be Lijiang Tower. Um, yeah, also, while we're waiting, this is a great opportunity to go follow us on our social media channels. So you can go to, uh, oh, you're already at twitch.tv slash Marietta Esports. You can hit that follow button. Uh, you can go to twitter.com slash Marietta Esports. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash Marietta Esports. You can go to instagram.com slash Marietta Esports. We even have a TikTok. I have no idea how to use it. I should probably have my students do it for me. My older millennial slash early boomer side is starting to show because I don't know how to use TikTok. But it looks like we have rosters figured out. So I'm going to make sure I get the game audio set up here because we could be starting any second now. Uh, like I said, we are going to be on Legion Tower first in this best of five series. So right now we are just waiting for the ready checks. So once those checks are in, then we will get this underway. I guess while we're waiting, I'll show one more thing. We'll just take a look at that. GLEC Overwatch schedules just so you know what's going on later on this week. Uh, so this Saturday the, the uh, Overwatch team will be playing against Trine University. And then it does say we're playing Mount Vernon Nazarene University on Saturday, November 6th. That is going to be rescheduled just because of some scheduling changes with the GLEC for playoffs. We are most likely going to be having that match this Sunday at 3 o'clock. We are just confirming uh, on both sides here. Okay. Double checking one thing here real quick as we are getting a few things set up. Okay. All right. 
All right, so I think we're just getting a couple things here set up, so we should be starting up very soon. All right, looks like UC Davis is ready, so I'm just waiting for Marietta to be ready. Looks like Marietta is ready, so we should be starting any second now. Just got to hit the go button. Just waiting for the go button. I don't know why no one's hit the go button yet. Um, I'm just gonna look over it. Okay, Make sure. Everyone is good. All right, and we are in. All right, we are going to be seeing from. We're not going to get the top side view uh, that we have been getting in previous matches. So we're going to see. So, yeah. Be, Sometimes with the uh, the spectator mode, if both schools do not want to see like the full overview, we can only see from our players. So we're only going to be able to see this from our players' perspective, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but it is going to be control on the Legion Tower, so we're going to see what Marriott is going to be going with here. We're all all right, so it looks like uh, we are going to see Roha Diva as tanks. Very interesting choice. Usually you would want to have at least some kind of front liner. Uh, looks like Marietta maybe going like a big dive brawling type combination. We're going to see Rez on the Reaper. Spoon Goon is going to be on 76. I'm already seeing some uh, love for Spoon in the chat. He is a fan favorite in uh, Rainbow Six, and we're going to see him in Overwatch as well. In fact, let's just watch the game from his perspective. Meanwhile, in support, Gear will be on the Baptiste, and we will see Meaver on the Lucio. So it looks like you see Davis went for the teleport strat. Spoon's going to try to take out that teleporter. It will go down, but you see Davis is on the uh, point first. Unlocked unlocking UC Davis is going to be trying to claim the point first. Marietta needs to get a move on here. Uh, UC Davis will capture the point first. So. And Niebuhr does go down. Gear Oak and Rez also will fall. Esther will lose her mech and will be taken out herself. Spoon Goon's trying to get some damage out, but not getting a whole lot of luck. Pioneers are getting taken out one by one. But Pioneers will be regrouping. You see right now, the Gear Wolf's Soul Charge is just about ready to go, but we're seeing the window be coming out uh, for... Yeah, they're good for uh, UC Davis. Inky B2 has been taken down along with Neeber. So right now, UC Davis is holding very well. Miners are struggling to get a pick. They're going to have to fall back and try again. Dexter is out of mech, but she's going to have to wait a little bit for her ult to come back up. Very squishy, it's very squishy in the meantime. Nikki is now going to be on the Reinhardt. Rohawk did not work out very well. Use that shield to allow people to move forward. Spoon Goon's already taken out early on. They're just seeing a lot of damage coming out by uh, UC Davis. 
as it's back in her mech. Window does come out. This may be Mary's opportunity to try to get a pick. They need to utilize that. Tactical Advisor is coming out for Spoon Goon. But a lot of damage is coming out. Blue Fire on the Doomfist doing a ton of damage. There goes the beat for uh, for Memer. But Memer's going to get taken down. Diva's going to be de -macked. And that the first round will go to UC Davis. Come here and get stabilized. See if Marietta makes any adjustments to their hey, composition it's here. It's, it's looking like they're gonna keep the same comp. Right now, hey, we just saw a very strong performance there by UC Davis. Marietta's got to find a way to break through that front line and get some damage onto the, the squishies. around and they're gonna meet at the middle Beamer's already been taken down but right now it just seems like damage is all over the place the Pioneers haven't picked off Spoon's the only one that's alive and he's gonna go down so that's gonna be a team kill for UC Davis Mary is gonna have to regroup Rez is doing. Rez is trying to kind of flank from behind. Going to take a lot of damage. Gets taken out by Blue Fire. But Marietta just needs to focus on a single target and try to take it down. I think they're a little bit split. Window's going to be coming out for UC Davis, and Mary's going to have to use natural cover. Just stay. Use the immortality. Shatter does come out. Okay, we're seeing UC Davis going all out on the damage, taking out Pioneers one by one, and not be able to get a single kill themselves. Right now, as far as old scaling, those are not where it needs to be. We're seeing Ezra swapping up to Zarya. Gotta take out those turrets, doing a ton of damage. Points already at 55 55%. Mary's going to rotate over to the right side. Here we see ults coming out. Immortality Field does come and gets taken out. And King of the Gear Wolf do get taken down. And there's just not a lot of follow up. Someone's looking out for me. Yeah, everyone's been taken out, so they're going to have to try it out and try again. They probably got about uh, one. I oh, got one more fight. Shatter comes out, and it's a huge shatter for UC Davis. That's going to push Marietta back, and that's probably going to be enough to secure the round and the map. So map one will go to UC Davis. But again, we'll go to Smokey the May on the Reinhardt with that shatter. Actually, no, not the shatter. I apologize. Just swinging the hammer and doing a ton of damage. So with that first map, we'll go to UC Davis. So Marietta will get to choose the next map, so we'll see what they want to go with. They're going to talk things over. I can already tell the team's gonna talk over some things, making the adjustments for the next uh, for the next map. Yeah, 
still waiting for the for the adjustment or what not gonna go with the debt yeah it's just gonna be some adjustments I mean a lot of it's just coming down to finding the right uh, picks there because UC Davis did a really good job of just collapsing people one by one and just doing a ton of damage And it looks like Marietta's going to go with Eichenwald. So we'll see if they want Marietta to start. If they, if you, that means UC Davis does get to choose a side. So we'll see if they want to do offense or defense. In cases like this, normally I would see them playing on uh, defense. Because I, mean, if you, I think I've mentioned this in a couple of other matches. But if you do well on defense... And that means it doesn't take as much to be an offense. And actually, no, they are going to go with offense. Very interesting choice here. And here they go. So here we go. Traveling to Icon. We'll see what Marietta decides to. Uh, go with your guess is as good as mine and I don't think we're gonna see any changes in roles so it's just gonna be a matter of like who plays what it's like Spoon's gonna stick on Soldier 77 for the most part we see a lot of similarities where we see Soldier 76 and the Reaper. Uh, big difference here is Kikadigu is going to be on the Winston. Gearwolf will be on Ana. So we'll see if that plays a difference. In fact, let's go over to... We'll go over to Kikadinko on that monkey. Push right into the point, but Smoking Mate does get taken out by Spoon. And Devastate goes down, so does Axel. And Mariana, whatever that pep talk was, has made a difference. And they are holding the line. Tikadiku is pushing his way forward, will fall back. But a great job by the Pioneers to hold up defensively. Spoon Goon getting some damage onto that May, dodging the fire strike. Get a little bit of heals in. We do see UC Davis kind of rotating around. Windows gonna be coming out. And a big hit there. X was able to take down Axel. So it's a, it's a one for one right now. But a big shatter there by UC Davis. Let's look at me just getting out. There's the Diva Bomb. He's gonna take down two of the pioneers. Here's trying to contest as much as she can. But she is going to end up falling, and it looks like UC Davis is going to be able to uh, get some tips to the point, probably capture it. Weaver does still swap to the Moira. So it was a good initial hold, but UC Davis is able to claim the uh, the point. Preparing the damage. The power of destruction. The May wall is being there to cause some disruption. Extra does get taken out. Rest here, it's a two for one. Now it's a two for two. The variant is playing a lot better uh, than earlier, but King Kingdom does get taken out. That's gonna force Mary to come back. Gearwolf does get taken down. 
Another shatter does come out. And right now, Marion is just split. They have to be careful with that. We're, we're seeing that UC Davis is definitely punishing uh, and collapsing onto the players one by one. So they're going to have to try to collapse onto one person and take him out. I knew it is coming out. Hinkadiki is, has fallen, so does Rez. Blizzard's going to be coming out. That's going to force Mary to back, and that's going to be enough to be able to capture the second point. So now UC Davis has five minutes just to handle this third leg of the map. Now as far as alts go, nothing's on just yet, but we do see that Meaver and Spoonger almost have their alts ready to go. is ready to go and it will be popped by Memer. He's going to be coming out by UC Davis as well as Window. So they're matching one alt with two of their own. Everyone's at critical health. And there's just so much damage. I don't know if there's enough healing to sustain it. Iris are being taken out one by one and that's going to be the round. UC Davis will take all three points. So now Marietta is going to be on offense, so they're going to have to make it through all three uh, points as well if they want to be able to uh, at least continue this round going. Otherwise, the map will go to UC Davis. So let's see what Mary's gonna go with here. Let's show them what we can do. Check this out. But no one they haven't finalized their complete roster just yet. But it's so far looking like a similar uh, composition from before. Quit screwing around and get ready to move. Spoon still deciding who he wants his off to be. Rez this time gonna be on the Soldier 76, so we'll see what Spoon decides to go with. Uh gonna be going with the uh the Hanzo like last time. There's in that initial uh flame strike, the fire strike. But everyone gets healed. Spoon Goon gets taken out very early. Rez has gotta be careful with that peeking. Trying to get some damage out, but the problem with this composition for dive is they have to go get onto the team. And we're seeing that the composition for uh, UC Davis is using some hit scan, some uh, long range. But Marion is not going to be able to jump onto UC Davis. They probably need some hope. Or at least some tanks with some shields to allow the uh, DPS to poke. But right now, the dive is kind of falling. Now we're seeing Kinkadoo on that right heart. I was saying we need something with a shield. Extra's got to be careful. I mean, she's out of her back. She got to stay behind that right shield, but that shield is the only defense that Marion has. They're starting to work their way forward, so they got to protect the Ryan, keep him up, but he's going to go down, and so will Rez. And Gear Wolf is unfortunately going to be slammed. Extra being able to use the mech to take out Excellent, but she's going to lose her mech again. Trying to retreat. Now there's two minutes and 23 seconds left in the clock. Marion has got to make some progress onto that first point. Who's 
going to try to work his way up. Unfortunately, not able to do so. The ultimate's ready, but he's going to get frozen. It's going to get taken down. Rez is going to be able to get a pick onto yes, but he's going to take go down himself. Blizzard comes out, and that's going to start causing disruption for the Pioneers. Yeah, they delayed that kill there just to cause a little more stagger. Dragons is ready for Hanzo. They're just not finding the picks that they need. Alright, Beats coming out by Beaver. This is and Windows coming out, so this is the chance. So they're gonna use that dragon to see if they can get some damage. It gets eaten up by Diva though. That is so unfortunate. Diva Bomb is gonna be coming out. And that's gonna take down three of the pioneers. We had double Diva Bomb there. But oh you hate to see the dragons getting eaten by Diva though. I'm not trying. 40 seconds remain. I think Marietta burnt like all their alts on that fight so they don't really have anything left but they have to push forward anyway because at 30 seconds we see king Kadu does get walled out and taken out by may well technically it's ryan but as they're trying to get some damage onto the mccree and he's so low, but she's gonna lose her mech. And I think Esther's the only one that's left in the point. The rest of the team has gone down. But unfortunately, the round in the map will go to UC Davis. Play the game will be Khakis on that Diva, that major, that big bomb early on while they are on. Uh, offense there. Actually, no, that was defense. Yeah, the double diva bomb taking out three or four of the pioneers there. So the round will go to UC Davis there. So there were some moments that were better, but just not quite where it needs to be. So Marietta will get to choose the the what could be the the last map. Uh, it will be a complete escort this time. So we'll see what the pioneers decide to go with. So they're going to pick Havana, and they are requesting a five minute break. So I'm just going to double check to see if the break is good. I think so. So we'll go ahead and take a, a small break ourselves, give everyone a chance to kind of get up, walk around, uh, use the rest if we need to. So don't go away. You are watching Married Ecology Sports. Have you heard what happened to those with curious minds? They packed up, broke free of conventions. These prospectors of knowledge are blazing a new trail, joining the long line of those who sought adventure and prepared for anything. This is the time. This is the place. Bring forth a pioneer.
All right, and welcome back. Uh, everyone's in position. We're getting the ready checks. It will be Havana, as we mentioned right before the break. So, looks like uh, you see Davis is ready. Now we're just waiting for Marietta to be ready. So as soon as Mary is ready, we will get started. Um, it looks like UC Davis will be on offense first. We are just waiting for Mary to be ready. And kind of overheard a little bit of the team discussion. We may be seeing uh, some changes in the, the compositions to adjust for the, uh, what they're going up against. Mary is saying that they're ready. So we should be starting any second now. And there's the go button, so there's my go button. So here we go, folks. This is match point for uh, UC Davis. We are on Havana, so we will see what Marietta decides to go with. Waiting for those compositions to come out. I'll be watching so, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so Marion is going to go with a double shield composition with the Orisa Sigma. At DPS, we're going to see Ash and Jump Rat, so more shield breakers. One of the problems with the previous games is just not being able to break the Rhine Shield doing damage to the team. And then we're going to see, it uh, looks like Baptiste and, and uh, Mercy. Mercy for more of the focus heals, and we're going to see Baptiste with more just healing in general. So let's see how well this will do against Havana. I'm feeling good about this comp. Hope you guys are feeling good about this comp chat. But here we go. Looks like uh, UC Davis is also going with an Orisa. I don't know who else is there. Looks like a soldier. And Rez does get taken out early, but will be revived by Nemer. But we're going to see that's UC Davis' opportunity to press forward. Spoon Goon is going to be taking out the Sigma Shield. But yeah, we are seeing double shield by UC Davis. Rez gets taken out. Spoon's going to get stunned for a second. Gearwolf gets taken down by Hanzo. Spoon's trying to do some damage, but... Many of the pioneers have already fallen. Is that a Widowmaker in the back? Line? Yes, Tesla is playing that Widowmaker. The Marietta is struggling a little bit, and it looks like UC Davis will be able to get the point first. Graz has already been taken down, but that stagger is not what you want to see. And we're just seeing the pioneers get taken out one by one. King Kadinku is also going to fall along with Meaver and Gearwolf. Rez has to be careful here because he is by himself, and that could be very dangerous. Especially when he's getting shot at multiple times, just like that. So, got, positioning is important. Uh, I gotta make sure everyone is grouped up. If you go, don't want to go in by yourself and stagger like that. Because the infrared sensor does come out for UC Davis. No one exactly the finders are grouped up, and there's gonna be the window. Dragons is gonna be coming out. And that will take down two of the pioneers. Rez has already fallen. And Marietta is struggling to hold. UC Davis will continue to push the payload. And probably will secure the second checkpoint without too much trouble. Still got over four minutes left on the clock, and that will increase. Now about five and a half minutes remain. 
Tesla does get taken down by Rez, so that might be Marietta's opportunity to push forward. Doctor's gonna come out to try to get the healing up. Rez is getting a little bit low, but Beaver is trying to take care of that as much as possible. Lewis window is ready to go whenever it needed. Esther's on the Zarya this time, but two of the Pioneers have fallen. The Pioneers do go down. They hold up the defense a little bit, but they're just not getting the picks that they need. Soon already picked off by Tesla. Does get Rez by Heemer. But then Rez gets picked off. But Tesla is just having a field day on that Widowmaker. Who's going to try to bring out the Riptide to see if it catches anyone from behind? Does take down the Hanzo. And Neemer taking out Tesla, playing that Battle Mercy. But does not beat Rick Astley. He is going to give it up. He's going to get let down. Astley's trying to hold Tesla to pick the payload. Just 0.1 meters away. Got to stay alive, but unfortunately does not. And UC Davis will get made the third point with four minutes remaining on the clock. Score. Zero to three. Sides. The Marietta has to get all the way to the end, otherwise UC Davis will take the match. So even with the comp change, it was not enough to be able to hold him. So we'll see what Marietta will do on, on offense. Will they try a similar comp or will they go back? Excuse me, go back to dive. And they are requesting a pause. We'll have to see uh, what's going on over here. So let me check uh, real quick. Uh, give me one second.
All right, apologize for the delay, folks. Uh, we should be getting things up and running uh, very soon. So we're just working on a couple of things here, getting getting reset back up. But uh, appreciate everyone's patience. Sometimes these things happen. As soon as we get everyone situated, we will get back into the the game here. Still getting a couple of things here set up, folks. Don't worry. We will get this game up and running in just a few minutes here. Just checking a few more things. I think we're just about ready. Yep, there we go. All right, so we're getting the unpause here. Once again, I apologize for the delay. Had a few circumstances that needed uh, taken care of, but Marietta will be on offense this time, so let's see what composition. Uh, we'll be going with <laughs> Looks like we're gonna see the Hanzo junk route again. Looks like Mary's gonna go with dive actually We're gonna see D.Va uh, and Winston. Maybe we're gonna be on the Brigette this time. Gear Wolf will be on Anna Stick to the plan and if you get into trouble, I'll bail you out. is right at the spawn point so Barry's gonna have to make a play to be able to get out <laughs> see the fighters get taken out one by one it's perfect not to mention some bumps to Another 
Way to get out. Windows gonna be coming out for UC Davis. High news also gonna be coming out. is struggling to be able to make any progress on that payload. Losing the main wall is going to be taken out King Kinnick. Getting trapped. And this has happened a couple of times now. Dragons comes out, doesn't connect with anyone. A big shatter there uh, by Devastator from UC Davis. Riptide ready to go when never needed. Eva Bomb's gonna be coming out. High News gonna be coming out by Tesla. Does take out Beamer. Spoon does take out one, but he's the only one that's remaining, unfortunately. Is ready to go. Mary's got to get onto the payload though. It's a one for one trade right now. He needs to pop that primal race, but does not do so. Take down Devastated. So this could be Marietta's opportunity to press forward. Marietta is trying to contest onto the payload because they are at overtime. Hero is trying to stay alive. Another Shatter comes out. Dragons do come out, does not take out anyone, unfortunately. And with that, you see Davis will take down the Pioneers, 0-3. Play of the game. The game will be Smokey the May on the Hanzo. Using his dragons to do quite a bit of damage to the pioneers while they were kind of grouped up. So with that, uh, the pioneers will fall. Uh, there are a couple of good moments here, but it is still a work in progress. As I mentioned uh, all semester, the Overwatch team is still very new. Uh, it's a very new team, so definitely a lot of a lot of learning lessons. Especially when you're going up against a lot of all diamond teams. Uh, there's still more Overwatch uh, later on this week, though. The Pioneers will be back this Saturday to go up against uh, Trine University. Uh, so that'll be at noon. Uh, and hopefully, we'll have the match against Mount Vernon Nazarene on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, we will get that information out to you once we do know for sure. Uh, so hopefully, we'll be able to confirm it as early as tomorrow uh, on our social media. And then we'll be back next Monday. Uh, with our next NACE match, wherever that is. So we're going to have a lot of Overwatch this coming weekend uh, for you guys.
So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Married Esports, uh, please be sure to follow us uh, here on Twitch. I see a couple of follows already, so thank you so much for that. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Married Esports. Go to Facebook.com slash Married Esports. Instagram.com slash Married Esports. You can even subscribe to our YouTube channel, bit.ly slash Married Esports. So from all of us here, thank you so much for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.